Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's now time for Design Time. Get your phone or tablet ready. We have a QR code for you right there on your screen that you can scan to get more information on today's topic. We are out in Tri-City, excuse me, in Auburn at Tri-City Furniture with our great friend Kathy Kilborn. Kathy, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yes. So we've already talked a little bit about like how just homes overall are changing, but over the years, the American home has really seen a lot of changes. A lot. So today, Hey, Kathy, you're going to kind of help us understand what has changed and what has caused these changes. So, Kathy, tell us a little bit about when the size of the home actually started to increase in size. Well, after World War II, okay. people moved out of the cities and into the suburban areas and were able to build homes according to the size of their family. Mm -hmm. Building was actually pretty reasonable. My family actually moved out of Midland into Auburn mm -hmm. at that exact time. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty reasonable to build the house large enough for your family. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of started the things changing. So, Kathy, tell us what changed that really helped people to create larger homes with larger rooms? Well, in the past, they had to have the homes smaller and near a fireplace because that was their form of heat. But at, after the 50s, starting into that time frame, we got central heating. And so we were actually able to see the room sizes get larger and have setting areas that weren't huddled around a fireplace because that was the way you kept warm, especially in Michigan. Mm. But now they could have smaller areas mm -hmm. separated into a larger room for conversation or for studying. Yeah. And so it really changed the home and the size. So Kathy, did homes kind of just continue to get larger? Yes, through all the way through the 20th century, we saw big increases up to 20, 28% of increases in the home sizes and then how much they moved out to surrounding areas mm -hmm. of the cities. And you know, Kathy, with the home getting big, bigger, I'm pretty sure like the need for furniture changed too. Did that change as well? At that time is when there was a big increase in the amount of furniture, mm -hmm. but also the size mm -hmm. of furniture. Used to be a couple of chairs were a smaller set T, but then we had the need for larger things because now the rooms got larger. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So was there one piece that like truly changed the living room? Yes. Which one? That absolutely revolutionized what happened in that room. Mm -hmm. It was the television. That's what I was going to guess. Yeah. Yeah. So back then, the, the sitting area for watching TV was still close because mm -hmm. the screens were small mm -hmm. and they were round and then they got square yes. and we had console TVs. I lived through all of that, <laughs> but they kept getting bigger. So then the furniture could keep moving out. Yeah. And then we all know what has happened to today. Yeah just 70 years it's not that long mm -hmm. but now we have tvs that are 50 60 70 80 inches and the rooms have become much larger so that we could be back away almost like theater screens yeah, yeah. so kathy tell us about maybe have there been any other changes too well what has happened in our homes is that we weren't just happy with the living room but homes have to continue to get larger. So now many homes have living room, family room, mm -hmm. maybe a playroom, mm -hmm. a theater room, mm -hmm. offices. So there's all of these different areas that now we are able to really focus a certain kind of living yeah. in those specific spaces. And so that has continued to grow. Yeah. And I'm always amazed at how many different rooms people can live in yeah. in their home today. Mm -hmm. But then the need for furniture, larger sectionals, of all kind of come from that need mm -hmm. of having more furniture. Well, Kathy, thank you so much for sure. kind of explaining some of the changes that have happened in our American homes. Yeah, we, we just don't realize how the size of a home has yeah. actually changed our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so really important to, to enjoy our family and our life mm -hmm. and how we live 
and then understanding the needs. Yeah. Well, Kathy, again, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for being here with us for this edition of Design Time.